could not pass up this moment. We have a sheriff's deputy sitting over here. I wonder if it's for keep the peace or if he's just having code seven. It's probably for code seven. And then we have one Biden. Pre Where's all the Biden people? There's only one person out here with a sign. So, uh, kind of lost in thought. Oh, somebody's honking. We have one Biden person. The practicing, that's what the uh, First Amendment is all about that you can have uh, a difference of opinion. And uh, so come out and get your stuff. I did place my vote for Trump Pence. Had to do it. Now I will tell you guys, I am a uh, Democrat, but Biden put his foot in his mouth one too many times and I said, I, I can't do that. We need a leader to lead the country, not somebody who's gonna be bumbling and fumbling and, but there's your Biden supporter. So we have a Biden supporter and Trump supporters. But uh, yeah, I've, the, the one v the debate I watched, which was the first one with Trump and Biden, I wasn't impressed by Joe Biden. I haven't been impressed by his, um, I haven't been impressed by his speeches. And I've noticed that they keep saying how Trump is behind in the polls, but every time you see a Trump rally, there's like 5,000 people out there. When you see a Biden rally, it's like 85 people with a mask on. And I'm not saying it's nothing wrong with a mask, but um, the fact that Joe Biden attracts 85 and Trump attracts 8,500, I think speaks something. It's, there's a message there. So, but I just wanted to stop and record this because it is the First Amendment. People are allowed to uh, vote for either candidate. And it's kind of sad that there's no Biden people out here supporting her. Maybe she didn't post that she was going to be out here. She probably should have got some more people out here. <laughs> so, there you go. The First Amendment. Both of them are, have the right to be out here with their signs. Both of them have the right to campaign for their um, candidate, you know. It's just that I voted for Trump because I feel like he's a, uh, a bigger leader. There's more leadership in him. Biden just, I don't know, I, I'm not impressed with him. He was vice president and didn't really accomplish a whole lot. But Donald Trump seems more confident. He seems like he knows. I mean, he's a businessman anyway, so he's used to directing people. He's used to having a staff of people with the Trump Corporation. So he just seems to uh, own better leadership skills. He seems to direct his staff a lot better than Joe Biden. Uh, Biden just to me seems like an old man that's lost, not sure of what he he's doing. He doesn't seem too confident about, you know, he m might speak confidently, but from someone that knows leadership, there's just something missing there in terms of leadership skill. So having weighed them both, I find that our POTUS is a better leader than Joe. And um, you have to go with the better leader for the country. You can't just vote in Joe Biden because you don't like Donald Trump and then the country doesn't have a great leader. You know what I mean? You might say, well, Donald Trump did this with women. Donald Trump did that. Yeah, but is Joe Biden a better leader? And the answer would be no, because he's just wanting when it comes to leadership skill. So, yeah, everybody makes mistakes. Everybody does stupid stuff. But when it comes to voting for a president of the United States, it comes down to who can lead better. Not who made the worst mistakes, who made, you know, who acts better in public. Who can lead the country better? This isn't a personality contest. This isn't a charisma test. You know, this isn't a who likes who better. This is a leadership test. That's what this is all about. When it comes down to where the rubber meets the road, it's a leadership test. It's not a who grabbed more women than who, it's who can lead better. And I just think that Donald Trump is a better leader. 
Uh, he's more confident when it comes to leadership. He asserts himself a lot stronger. And I think that's what we need in this country is we need somebody that can stand up and lead better. Um, you know, people are talking about the wall. Well, let's deal with the wall. That's an issue. Trump didn't want to close the wall to keep the Mexican people out. He wanted to close the wall to keep the Mexican criminals out. The cartel people who are coming here and, and raping and murdering and shooting and all of that. Those are the people he wants to keep out. And unfortunately, you have to keep everyone out to keep them out. Does that make sense? So you keep people from coming here illegally. I mean, if we let people come here illegally because they want to do better for their families, how do you know one of them doesn't end up being a cartel member? Yeah. <laughs> so when it comes to the wall, it's not that he wants to keep Mexicans out. I kind of thought that at first, too. I thought, well, he's just trying to you know, keep all the people from coming here and getting a better life. He's really not. He's trying to keep the criminal element out. Whoa, buddy. He's trying to keep the criminal element out because there are people who are coming here and killing people and murdering people, raping people. Um, I'm redundant there, killing, murdering. And um, they're criminals. So they're having a conversation now. They're having a peaceful conversation, and that's what it's about. It's about dialogue. Um, but I was saying with immigration, it's not about keeping them out. It's about making it more affordable to get a um, legal permanent resident card. What some people would call INS document or a green card is what it used to be called. So that's what it's all about. We're, if you want to fix immigration, make it more affordable for them to get their legal permanent resident card. Now, I have spoken with undocumented immigrants before, and uh, they have told me it's ridiculously costly to get a permanent resident license card. You know, to be a permanent resident here, it's it's ridiculously costly. So, if you really want to fix the the immigration problem, fix the cost of it. Help them to be able to afford it. And to be approved of it. You know, again, I don't know, maybe it, it does run the, the gamut of politics. Maybe it is political. Maybe they do want to keep them out. Uh, but I know for sure we want to keep the criminal element out. One way to do that is to only allow them here as they get their legal permanent residence. That way they're screened, their backgrounds are screened, and that's all that... President Trump is trying to do is get them screened so that we don't have criminals coming here to America. We have people that are screened and legal, have a legal permanent resident card. That's all he's trying to do. All right.